Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to show you how to conduct examination with CBSE pattern. In CBSE pattern, you have to set MCQ questions as well as subjective questions in a single question paper and that too you have to conduct that examination in online mode. This is the reason why so many students are facing so many problems while they are submitting the form especially in Google Forms. Let me begin this video and let me show you how to conduct online examination using exactly CBSC pattern. So I am going to take example as English examination. So according to CBSC pattern, English examination for class 11 it has two parts. Part A is completely MCQ questions. Part B is completely descriptive questions. I mean subjective questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the method to conduct these kind of examinations. If you don't conduct this examination in a proper way, students after completing the MCQ parts, when they try to complete or when they try to upload answers to the subjective part of the examination, they are facing so many problems and that will cause even problem to you also. So now let me begin the video. First, you have to set the question paper in your Google form. I have already set the question paper in Google form. So what is the method I have followed here is I have set part A question paper separate. So here you can see on your screen part A is only for objective or MCQs examination. So uh, you have to collect the identification details of the students. Students they have to enter the name according to the register and class and section and roll number of the students and date of the examination and you have to set the login password for the part A which is MCQ exam only. Now once they complete identification details filling now the part a objective question paper begins now this is a typical example of conducting objective and subjective examination in one single form here you can see uh, one mcq question i have given and one file upload option i have given so if you set this kind of question paper the problem may occur when students try to upload answers let me show you practically what is the problem students are facing now the question one is mcq who is the prime minister of india uh, option 1 Rahul Gandhi, option 2 Lalu Prasad Yadav, option 3 Narendra Modi and option 4 is Arnab Goswami. Okay, so these are the four options and one student select the right option, they will select it. Okay, uh, now you have set the four questions. Now what is the second question you have done is we have set the file upload option. Now the problem is when you set the file upload question in the MCQ question question paper only when students when they submit the file upload option sometimes they can't upload the file because you might have set the settings in a different way. So let me show you what are the problems students may face when you set objective and subjective I mean MCQ questions and uh, uh, subjective questions in the same question paper. So for that let me take you into the preview part. So this question paper I'm going to show you in the preview part. Now here, uh, party, let us let the student enter the email ID. These are mandatory fields. Now they will select next. So here they can write the name, any name, whatever the name, and then they'll select the class and section, and they'll write the roll number according to, and then date of the examination. So let me, uh, Okay, date also, then login password, whichever login password, see, invalid password, invalid date it is coming. So, students have to set the right date, examination day, and login password, they have to set. And now see, have you filled all the details correct? If yes, then select yes or select no. So, once the students have filled the details, let them select yes, and then select them. Now, here is the question, our questions, MCQ question and objective, subjective question. So here the answer of course the students will select Narendra Modi. Now here coming to the subjective question as you have set the subjective question in the one single question paper. Now they will write the answer in a piece of paper and they will try to upload the file. Now see let me show you what kind of problems students may face if they try to upload a file. So select from your device so let me just upload one image. So you can upload any uh, image. So uh, let me just upload one small image here. Okay, so here the students are trying to upload. So let them click the uh, file upload option. Now here you can see it is uploading. The file is uploading into the Google form. 
okay now let us see it will take some time also if it successfully uploads then there is no problem so here it is uploaded but sometimes what happen due to network issue the file may not be uploaded properly now when that happens generally what teachers advise students to refresh the page or to reload the page when students refresh the page or reload the page when the file uploading is not done properly or uploaded into the google drive properly they face the problem they will lose even the mcq answers also so let me show you how how it actually happens so here you can see reload this page so when it fails to upload the students what they do they'll reload the page when they reload the page changes you made not be saved and the problem is file uploading is not completed so there is no other option for students to do so what they do they will press the select the reload option once they select the reload option they will again come to the first page that means again they have to start from the beginning of the examination and this is causing panic and lot of stress among students so for this what method we have to adopt to conduct examination without causing stress and problem to students is i am going to explain that so this is the problem now coming back to the teachers a uh, part of the google form here you can see this is a part a now what i am going to do is i am going to delete this question okay so now in this question paper there will be only objective questions i mean mcq questions if you see the revised syllabus of cbse for class 11 english examination part a is completely mcq questions so you set the part a question paper with only mcq questions it can be applicable even for other subjects exams also now here this is the only mcq question paper that is part a now what you have to do is select or set one more question paper for part b so here you can see on your screen this is part b subject to exam question paper same again you will collect the identification details okay and the question starts with actually from this section part b subject to exam now here you can see i have given two questions for the students question number 1 explain briefly about how cricket has become the biggest business in india and question number 2 what are the reasons for corruption in india so part a one question paper part b another question paper but you have to interlink these two question papers so that students will not face any kind of problem and even if they upload the mcq questions once and when they come to the objective subjective questions even they face the problem they will not lose the answers options which was already selected in the mcq question part so let me show you what are the settings you have to do to set two different question papers and to interlink these two different question papers so that the students will not face any kind of problem now uh, let me go back to part a so this is mcq question paper now what you have to do come to the settings here click the settings and see here under general you have to set all this collect email address and come to presentation part now see here in the presentation part you can select show progress bar and come to confirmation message now in this confirmation message you have to give the link to the part b question paper how let me type here on the screen you can watch that on screen you have successfully submitted let me just okay submit it part a okay then click the below link to submit part b now what you have to do is come to part b question paper which i have already set for descriptive or subject to exam come to part b examination question paper and select sent and come to this part and see the link of the part b question paper is here shorten the url and copy the url and come back to part a question paper settings and under presentation paste that link now here you can see under confirmation message you have given you have successfully submitted part a click the below link to submit part b and you have given the part b question paper link also 
and then save. Now what happens here is, let me show you in the preview part. Now once you send the question paper to students, students will enter their email ID and they will uh, write all the details quickly and then they will enter the login password. They will select the information, they will come to the next. Now this is MCQ part. So there are having 40 marks MCQ questions. Once they complete all the 40 marks MCQ questions, they will select the right options only and then they will submit the form. Once they click the submit form, they will get this kind of message on the screen. Part A objective MCQs exam. You have successfully submitted part A. Click the below link to submit part B. Now what they have to do is tell them to click this link which they have got in the confirmation message. So now once the students click this link, they will enter into part B of the subjective exam question paper. So in one single question paper only, you can conduct two different examinations and there is no problem even though if students fail to upload the options, I mean a, a file uploads in the Google Forms, in case of losing network connection or slow network connection or any other problem like when the file is not uploaded into the Google form, then also they will not lose the first part of the answers because first part of answers are already stored into one single folder in your Google Drive. Now what they have to do is after selecting that link, they entered into the Google form part B question paper. They have to enter the same details again without any difference. So let me again enter the details. It is in the students uh, preview. So again, they will select the name, select the same section and class which they have selected and the roll number and the date of the examination. And again, they have to give the password. Okay, and see here, have you filled all the details correct? They will select yes and then they'll select next. Now here you can see they got these two questions. That means this is a separate question paper for part B subject to exams and they will write the exam. I mean question answers to those questions and they will upload the files. So once they select the file. Okay, let me just upload file. Once they upload the file into the Google Drive, in case if they fail uh, to upload the file because of the bad network connection or if the file upload option is not properly provided by the teacher, still they won't lose the answers which they have written for the MCQ questions. So this is one of the methods you can follow to uh, send, set a question paper for objective and for subject you separate but the these two question papers must be interlinked see here the students have uh, submitted the answer in the file upload option and they will click the submit now here if you have said this is a required question they have to submit even that file also so let me show you uh, let me upload one more file here okay and then let me select upload. So second file also they have uploaded. And one more thing is if they want to upload more than one file, then you have to set in the settings properly how many files they can upload for one single question. OK, so don't uh, neglect that because sometimes students may write more than in more than one page. So when they try to upload the two pages into two different files under single file upload option, if you don't allow that and if you have not set the options properly, then they can't upload it. So uh, let me submit. So once students submit the answer, these answers are stored in a separate Google Drive. That means the answers for MCQs are stored in one Google Drive and the answers for the subject to exam are scored in stored in one more Google Drive. Now while file while evaluating the answers, what you have to do is auto grading will be done for your part A exam and for part B examination you have to manually verify the details and then while giving the marks finally you have to club these two marks and you have to finally release the score or you can release the score even for part A separate and part B separate or you can even club these two. So this is one of the methods you can follow to conduct a half yearly examination English or other subjects strictly following the CBSC pattern. So now this is part B subject exam. Now in case if you want to even interlink part B question paper also with the part A. So you have to do the same thing. Come back to the part B question paper. Now here is in the part B. Come to uh, settings. Come to presentation. And here in the confirmation message again you have to write a message like 
You have successfully submitted part B question paper. If you have not yet submitted part A, click the below link and give the link of the part A question paper to part B in the part B question paper. So part A question paper link you have given in the part B question paper. Then in case if students they have failed to write part A question paper, then they will click the link and they will complete even part B. Now all these responses are stored into your Google Drive in two different folders. So this is a method you can follow to conduct half yearly examinations subject to exam and object to exam but you have interlinked these two question papers. So this will minimize the problem uh, from student side and the students can submit the answers without any kind of problem. So this is about how to set a question paper to conduct online examination following strictly following CBSC pattern for class 11 and class 12 exams. Quest from my side is if you are teaching either in a college or a university or a school first educate the students properly about online examinations teach them inform them how to attend online examinations and teach well before you conduct online examinations because most of the students they are complaining me they are sending messages to me that teachers are conducting online examinations but they are not teaching subject or content according to the online examinations so it's my humble request to all of you please teach students please educate students instruct students properly how to attend online examinations and according to the online examination pattern even teach online classes also so thanks for watching this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on youtube and always remember stay home stay safe and stay strong take care thanks for watching this video if you have come to the end of this video i believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic so now you can check this out video or watch this one click this video it will take you into another video